this is actually a really, really big issue on Roblox. Um, honestly, it's it's probably a battle for Roblox's future, and it's so badly stacked against one side, it's genuinely interesting. This could have a really big impact on the Roblox community later down the line, so I want to talk about that. Roblox uh, Adopt Me versus Roblox Brookhaven. Who will win? Who is the dying game? Who is going to just prevail? Um, and we're going to be talking about that uh, talking about that today. But I'm going to be talking about another thing just for now. Make sure to subscribe as I make daily Roblox videos. And a lot of you are not subscribed. I don't know why. Yeah, you uh, do you guys just not like subscribing or something? Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So, do I think Adopt Me is a dying game? No. I don't. Um, I've just solved the entire th uh, uh, entire title um, there. You can all go home. Uh, please, no. Actually, stay. Um, but I'm going to be explaining why I don't think Adopt Me will ever be in its prime ever again. Unless there's, a, like, another, like, multi... Unless there's a huge lockdown again, alright? Uh, because lockdown has definitely warped the statistics and averages for Roblox games. Um, and it, it's done the same for YouTube channels. Um, do I think Roblox Adopt Me is a dying game? Well, no. There's 360,000 people playing it right now. 19 million favorites. Uh, 20.8 billion uh, visits. Um, literally everyone on Earth would have had to play Adopt Me three times. Um, j just to add up to that number. Uh, it was updated four hours ago. Um, and... There's 3 million likes, uh, uh, 1 million dislikes, and so many, just so much interaction with the game. Um, <clears throat> now, looking uh, to Brookhaven statistics, we have 800,000 dislikes, uh, 86,000... Um, uh, 834,000 likes, 86,000 dislikes, 500,000 people playing, 5 million favorites, 4.2 billion visits, um, <clears throat> and it was created and it was updated one day ago. Um, so it's clear that Adopt Me definitely has the lead for now, but there are more people playing Brookhaven right now. Now, one thing I would say is that the the only thing I really have a problem with Adopt Me is I, it definitely needs more features. And so, same th thing with Brookhaven. Dear Lord, that that game needs so many more features. Um, it honestly, it, I'm not being rude to Brookhaven, but it definitely does look like a just an, an entirely free modeled game. Um, as well, like, Adopt Me just has its own style that I don't think any other game has really ever done. Um, so much to the point where I think Brookhaven is just a, a big clone of other games. Um, it just, like, it's a, basically every single role-playing game smashed into one thing, and I'd, I, I'm just not a fan of it. That's just me, though. Um, that's definitely just me. Um... I mean, it's clear because there's more people playing Brookhaven for some reason. Um, but do I think Adopt Me is a dying game? No, not at all. Um, I think Adopt Me has a huge, uh, huge amount of potential. Um, but apparently not. I think Roblox uh, people, uh, Robloxians, definitely like Roblox Adopt, uh, Roblox Brookhaven much more right now. I mean, there's much more creators uh, currently making videos on Roblox Brookhaven than Roblox Adopt Me. It, but it's weird because it's kind of split. Uh, it's it's kind of split. Roblox, uh, the Roblox like. Um, how would you say this roblox role-playing community in half um but that is pretty much it all i really have to say do i think that roblox uh do i think that roblox adopt me is a dying game no not at all um uh, but yeah that's pretty much it have a fantastic rest of your day uh and i am gonna go bye bye